You guys, something just happened that could change YouTube for creators and viewers in the US forever. Starting August 13th, YouTube is launching an age estimation model, and this thing is going to impact how content is delivered, how ads are shown, and how creators earn money. It doesn't matter what birthday you entered when you made your account, this new system is looking beyond that. And if you're thinking, okay, but what does that really mean for me? Well, I'm gonna break it down in just a second, but first, let me explain what YouTube is actually doing. YouTube's new age estimation model uses signals like your activity and account history to determine if you are under the age of 18, even if your birthday birthday says otherwise. And if it flags you as underage, you're going to get a notification. Here's what YouTube says. As always, you'll have the option to verify your age through government ID, selfie, or a credit card if you believe our age estimation model is incorrect. That's directly from YouTube's official blog. You're not forced to upload your ID, but if you don't, your account will be treated as a teen account. So what changes? For viewers under the age of 18, YouTube will now automatically apply a bunch of teen protection features, whether you set your birthday correctly or not. Here's what that includes. You're only going to see non-personalized ads. Digital well-being tools are going to be turned on by default, like take a break and bedtime reminders. Can you imagine if you're like 26 and you get reminders about going to bed on time? That's going to be embarrassing. You're also going to get reminders about privacy when uploading your commenting. You're going to get reduced recommendation frequency for content that could be problematic if watched repeatedly. Here's what YouTube has to say about that. These protection for teens are not new. We now have enhanced technology to more accurately determine whether or not a user is under 18 and are now able to extend these protections to more teenagers. Okay, so those are the viewing protections, but what about for creators? Well, you need to hear this next part. What this means for creators? Well, first, you might start to notice shifts in your audience data. More of your viewers could be categorized as under 18, even if they weren't before. And if that happens, here's what YouTube says. This may result in a decrease in ad revenue since we only serve non-personalized ads to those viewers. We estimate this will have limited impact for most creators. Translation, less personalized ads equals lower CPMs for your teen audience. It may not hit everyone hard, but if a large part of your audience is under 18, you're definitely going to feel it. Think about gaming, think about challenges, think about pranks. A lot of those channels inadvertently attract teenage audiences. They're probably going to feel it in a more significant way. Also, if YouTube believes you're under 18, your uploads will default to private and you won't be able to earn from gifts on vertical live streams. Again, you can verify your age at any time if that's not correct, but it's definitely something to be aware of. And what if you're wondering, wait, is YouTube going to think I'm underage just because I watch Pokemon or Minecraft? Well, here's what they say about that. Our age estimation model does not look at one form of content in isolation to determine if an account is under the age of 18. The model assesses many different signals. So no, watching anime or gaming content won't automatically flag you. It's about the broader pattern of activity. But here's where things get really interesting because this isn't just about safety. This is about long-term platform positioning. YouTube is watching platforms like TikTok lean heavily into shopping, safety, and trust. And this move helps them compete in that space. They're signaling to brands, governments, and parents that YouTube is taking underage safety seriously. And you guys, that earns them trust and unlocks more more advertising partnerships with major companies that require brand safe environments. Here's the direct quote. This work is fundamental to how YouTube safeguards our users and will continue to invest to protect their ability to explore safety online. And yes, that matters for your future earnings because the creators who align their content with these new priorities, well, you guys, they're going to be the ones who see more distribution, not less. When YouTube rolls something new out, you want to make sure that you're in alignment, you're in compliance with their new rules and regulations. All right, so what should you do now? If you're a creator, go check your YouTube studios. Start by using the age restriction filter to see if any of your content has been flagged. Then take a look at your audience reports and just know those will be updated soon to match this new model. Next, if you create content for general audiences that appeals to teens, you may want to balance your monetization strategy strategy. And you guys, that could mean increasing affiliate revenue, promoting your own products, or focusing on building email lists, communities off platform. And if that doesn't work for you, try to find ways to age up your content and attract a more adult audience. Because if ad revenue takes a small dip, you want something else to pick up the slack. This is one of those shifts, you guys, that feels small now, but it's going to define the next 12 months of YouTube growth. So pay attention. And if you want to know how to future proof your content model, so you don't rely on just one income stream or one viewer type check out the breakdown we did right here all right you guys that's it for now but stay sharp youtube's evolving again and the ones who adapt early 
they always win. See you on the next one.